Hi guys. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good evening. I'm doing great. What about you? I'm fine. Thank you. Well, good. It's nice seeing you again. There's some people missing. How's your day? Did you do anything fun, interesting? It was busy, but good. Oh, that, that sounded like my lines. Busy, but... Or tired, but great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. The way it has to be. Okay. How is everything going with the platform and your classes? Is everything good? Yes. All right. I already right. opened the platform. How far are you? How many sections have you completed? Just two since yesterday. <laughs> two sections? Yes. Oh, that's a lot. That's good. You're good for the week then. All right, great. Let's start. Let's practice. Let me open this and we're all going to go to the same page. I mean, same, same section, right? So this is where we left off. We're going to do this exercise. We finished, right? And now let's go to section 1.5 all together. No, we're further than that. Finish this. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how many models are from intermediate to? Only what? five sections? Oh, this module is for, it's five sections total. So look. Oh, okay, when we feel Hi again. Sorry, Remember that only understanding grammar is important, but also. Sorry, you were saying? When we finish the module two, uh, the five sections, we will do the module three. Yes, that is right. That is going to be a month from now. Okay, in a month. So yeah, this module, this is um, intermediate two. Mm -hmm. This module is going to be four weeks. Yeah, let me write it. All right, so it's four weeks total, so you should be doing approximately one in a half sections, okay, every week. And when you finish, you're gonna go to intermediate three. All right, that's about it. Do you have any other questions, guys? No? No, we're good. All right, awesome. Um, I wanted to clarify some stuff though. Um, for example, let me see here. This is not the one. Uh, this is the one I think. All right, look. So if you're alone in a group, cuando, we're gonna make this Spanish parenthesis so to make sure everything is clear, all right? Eh, si están solos en un grupo de conversación o de práctica, avísenme. Okay. Pero no en WhatsApp, sino que acá en la opción que tienen en, la, en Zoom de enviar mensaje. Porque a veces sucede y bueno, se quedan solos todo el rato y no practican. Avísenme y yo los pongo con alguien más. Okay. Luego, eh, si les llego a dejar tarea, es simplemente como una opción para practicar más, pero la tarea es opcional porque lo que se les está evaluando, recuerden que es la plataforma y una vez la completan con el 80% ya pueden tener su certificado. Además de, de bueno, estar en clase, ¿no? Eh, como les decía, una sección y media por semana. Okay. Si tienen problemas técnicos que no pueden ingresar a la plataforma o cualquier, cualquier situación de esa índole, bueno, sería con Jonathan Guzmán, que creo que les envió un mensaje esta mañana. Lo pudieron ver. Sí, cualquier cosa con él, ¿ok? 
Luego, las respuestas de la plataforma a veces son muy exigentes, digamos. Que tiene que ser algo en específico y si no puso ese punto, bueno, ya no se puede. Entonces, en esos casos, si están en clase, no hay problema porque lo vamos desarrollando juntos y yo les voy dando las respuestas. Yo tengo acceso a ellas. Pero también hay una persona que está a cargo de darles las respuestas. Si ustedes están lidiando con ella y no dan, esa persona les puede dar. ¿Qué es? Está entre los contactos, es Oscar Quintanilla. Ok, también pueden preguntar en el grupo y algunos compañeros a veces ya tienen la respuesta. Este número lo voy a verificar porque lo enviaron el mes pasado. No sé si está vigente, pero bueno, cualquier cosa con él. Luego, si van a tener ausencias en el grupo, okay, me pueden mandar el por qué antes de clase. De hoy no voy a estar por X razón. Pero... Eh, Intenten estar a la mayoría que puedan porque esta es su única oportunidad de practicar con la plataforma. Solo ustedes saben que no pueden hablar inglés ni pueden practicar, ¿verdad? Así que no desperdicien esta oportunidad. Y sí, cualquier consulta, la envían al grupo y ya está. Okay. ¿Ustedes tienen alguna duda aún? Con... Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Eh, yo recientemente, bueno, hoy me incorporé porque ayer no, eh, no me conecté. Eh, no sé si fue Jonathan que me envió un mensaje. Entonces, no sé, ayer, ahorita no he tocado nada prácticamente en la plataforma ni absolutamente nada. Entonces, no sé si ayer se, me imagino, se dieron eh, las primeras indicaciones y pues, como no estuve, realmente ahorita me siento un poco he perdido por decirlo así entonces no sé si me puede ayudar eh, decirme en resumen qué es lo que tengo que, que hacer para por lo menos ya empezar a caminar en, en ese aprendizaje si sí, usted ya está en el grupo de whatsapp no aún no bueno déjeme ver eh, si sí, eso es importante porque ahí se envía la mayoría de la información en no sé cómo hacer acá. Déjenme ver. Voy a mandar un mensaje a todos y si alguien puede copiar el, el link de WhatsApp en el chat o si ya lo tienen, me hacen el favor, por favor, para que él pueda darle clic. Aunque si también pueden, ¿no? revisen los correos que le enviaron y ahí está el link de WhatsApp para unirse, porque lo usamos en cada clase. ¿Y ese es específico del grupo o en general? No, es del grupo. Es solo de nuestro grupo. Bueno, acá lo estoy enviando. Sí, es que no sé si, si tengo ese, ese correo. Bueno, si alguien puede copiar el link de WhatsApp, ya lo envié acá, okay, al, a este chat, al de Zoom, para que él lo pueda ingresar. Y lo que les habían dicho, creo que en la inducción, que... Hay que encender la cámara, usar audífonos, alejarse de ruido, tener el micrófono apagado a menos que esté participando o se le haga una pregunta. Usar ropa, porque hay gente que usa clases sin camisa. Esas son como las generalidades. Y completar con 80% de notas la plataforma antes que termine en clase. Eso es todo. Acá les envié información al grupo. Creo que ya enviaron el, el chat. ¿Quién me está preguntando? No es. Ya copié el, el link del grupo. Gracias. No. Okay. Sí, Gracias. Okay. Ahorita, ahorita voy a ingresar entonces. ¿Cómo se llama? No, no sé quién está hablando. Porque la mayoría tienen la cámara apagada. Por favor, entiéndanlo todos. Porque necesito verlos y conocerlos. ¿okay? A menos que tenga un programa con la cámara. Pero no veo a Fátima, Fernanda, Fernando, Mauricio, Noemí. Y, ok, gracias. Bueno, ahí ya puede accesar el link. A quien me está preguntando, no, no sé, no me dice su nombre. Ya lo puede ingresar y con eso trabajamos. Okay. Bueno, en este número, en este mensaje que les envié, está el nombre del curso, mi nombre, porque después van a hacer una evaluación sobre mí. Ok, eh, está la lista de reproducción de YouTube, que los videos de esta semana espero subirlos el fin de semana. Porque si se fijan, acá ya es tarde, es medianoche. Cuando termino son las 2 de la mañana, así que no voy a subir el link inmediatamente, sino prefiero hacerlo hasta el fin de semana. Ahí pueden revisar las clases que se han dado, ¿ok? Y 
Ah, ok. Lo voy a enviar otra vez porque creo que se acaba de venir alguien. Ahí está. Y eso es todo. Ok. ¿Estamos listos? ¿Todo claro? Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. Let's start then. Great. Thank you, guys. So let's continue. Um, go to the platform, all right? We're going to be working on section 1.6. Let's watch and pay attention to the intonation, all right? Here we go. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. All right, let's repeat. Is here. as important. Everyone mute the microphone, please, and let's repeat, okay? Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Go ahead. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Emphasize these Pick two. Pick up the toys. Reduce this one, right? Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Turn off the Turn light. Off the light. Turn off, uh -huh. the light. Very good. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick Turn the, the light off. off. Turn the light 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 off. Pick them up. Pick them up. Right. Reduce pick them, the right? Up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up and then pick them up. Turn it off. Turn it, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, so the phrase turn however you have to emphasize both. Turn okay. it off. Let's read these. Now that you have listened to the stress saying the following two. Here it is. Okay, Carla Chan, read this one. Oh, well, you're mute. You're mute. Pick up our things. Very good. Hey, again, I have Galaxy 810. Uh, I forgot your name. Guys, write your name, please, so I can address you by it. Roberto. What's your last name, Roberto? Good night. Hi, good evening. What's your last name? I had uh, an issue with uh, my network. Oh, no problem. What's your last name? Uh, Corleto. Corleto. All right. And read this, please, Roberto. Pick up your things. Very good, Jacqueline. Remember, you guys are on mute, so we don't hear you unless you turn it on. Jacqueline? Pick up your things. And, oh no, number three. Uh, drop me off. Drop me off, right? Drop me off. Drop me off. Right, but don't stop. Drop me off. Drop me off. All right, that's better. Very good. Next, Fernando. Fernando Hernandez. Hola, sí. Uh, turn the radio up. Okay. The radio app. Remember, you need turn, to press turn okay. and app. Turn, turn the radio up. App. Very good. And finally, Fatima. Put the phone down. Yep. Very good. Is that clear? 
Yes. Okay, yes. great. Let's continue then. And let's read the objective. Go ahead, Alexander. Participants will practice making requests using model scan, could, would, and would you mind, plus gerunds. All right, great. So we're going to be using models and a gerund. Let's see what that is first, all right? Be ready with the notebook. Take notes. Pay attention. Okay, let's do that. Here we go. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind? Plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off, to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure, model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Modal. Okay, I'll go over this slowly, all right? So we have can, could, and would. Which is the most polite one? For me, it's could. Could is the most polite one? Yeah, for me, yes. Would, and would. would. You think it's wood? Oh. Okay. Wood. And let's see. Um, let's do that. So we are going in this order. Look. From the least polite to the most polite. All right. So this is somewhat polite. This is like medium, right? And this is the most polite one. Is that clear? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like that example. Okay. All right. So write it down, please. Go. Ken? Could and would write it down because we're gonna use them. Can, could, and would. And the verb, you don't modify the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, with this structure. Let's write some examples. Okay. Um give me one second. Clear out. Lost it. Okay, so let's write some examples. If I say, um, drive me to the airport, for example. Drive me to the airport. Don't pay attention to that. I'm trying to go back here. Right. Plus simple form. If I say, drive me to the airport, what would you use? Can, could, or would? Can. Why can? I, I think it's the band, uh, the person that you. It depends on the person. All right. So look, guys, yeah. it depends on the person and it also depends on the favor. So if the favor is kind of big, you have to be more polite, right? So that the other person agrees. So if it's a car, for, 
If it's your car, you think it's a small safe or you think it's kind of big or medium? Uh, big. A big it's one? <laughs> it depends, right? If it's your father, yeah. maybe, well, but let's say could, all right? We could say, could you? Okay. Could you what, sorry? Could you, what's the favor? To the airport? Could you drive? Could you drive? Me? To, uh, me to the airport. To the airport. And saying, saying please is optional. Please, all right. Okay, what about let me stay in your house for 15 days? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Uh -huh, what would you say? Definitely would. Definitely would? All right. No matter who that is, right? Yeah. <laughs> so would, would what? Would you, would you so please? Would, would you, you please, please let me, stay. let me stay in your house for 15 days? <laughs> stay in your house for 15 days? All right. That's mm -hmm. a huge favor. So that's the one you're going to use. Okay. Then we have this other structure, right? We have this other structure, which is, would you mind? Write it down. This is one of the most formal ways to ask something and one of the most polite ones, all right? So, would you mind? Da, da, da. All right, would you mind? And the verb has to be in what form, guys? In gerund. Uh, gerund means that it has to be conjugated with ing, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want to make it negative, it would be here. So would you mind not smoking, please? Imagine it's a stranger, right? You don't want to say, hey, can you stop smoking? No, right? Would you mind? <laughs> would you mind not smoking, please? Because you don't know the person, but you don't want to get sick. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. It's negative is going to be right here. Okay, another big favor. So would you mind? Would you mind what? Give me a bird. Uh huh. Would Any you favor? Mind not speaking so fast, please. Would you mind not speaking so <laughs> fast? <laughs> Is that like an indirect way of telling me? No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> no, no. <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> not speaking so fast. All right, yeah, that works. And you can add please at the end. Okay. So, is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right, yes, give me uh, two examples and then we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. Two examples, guys, of favors you have asked in the past. Would you mind not singing so loud, please? <laughs> and the person is, ah, you're like, would you mind not singing so loud, please? <laughs> My ears hurt. All right, good, good example. One more example, guys, before we practice. Mm -hmm. An example with could you mind? Let would me you ask. mind? Would you mind not taking pictures, please? Would you mind not taking pictures? Yes, that's very polite. Okay, and I need one example with can, could, or would. Um, Jacqueline or Carla Molina, help me out, please. Can you? Bring me a glass of water, please. Can you bring me a glass of water? All right. Yeah. It's a small favor, right? So can you do that? That works. Very good. Okay. So here's what I would like you to do. I'm going to send you um, an image if I find it. Otherwise, we're going to work with this. I think this is clear, right? So let's work. Let's work with this. Form of so some favors you're going to be working with is um, that one. Okay, let me use your 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 brush. Your hold on your your comb. We're gonna say right. Also, help me move to a new apartment. It's kind of big apartment. Take care of my pet. Okay, 
lend me your car, lend me money. It's a big one. Hmm. Yeah. Let me stay in your house. Let me stay in Other house. favorites, guys, that are common? Ah. And you let me swim in your pool. Swim in your pool, okay. <laughs> and also, lend me your homework. What happens at school, right? Lend me your homework. Okay, so these are the examples. Check what's up, I'm gonna send them there. And I would like you to ask for those favors, all right? Depending on how big you consider it is, I would like you to conjugate it with could, would, can, or would you mind? Ready? Ready. Okay, okay let's practice then. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. And we're ready. Is help me move to the to a new apartment. I guess it's a big paper and maybe it's a wool. Right, wool. yes, I can. Yes, I can to help you. Yes, I can to help you to move. To move you. I can help you move out. Yes, and the idea is to ask for the favors, right, in the most polite way you can, or depending on the situation. So yeah, so you would say wood. How would you say it, Fatima? The second one. Uh huh. The one you said. Would. Uh, would you mind to help me me to move a new apartment? Oh, but that one is different. Let me send it to you. Because with would you mind, you have to use the verb in ing. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So how would it be? Would you would mind? Would you mind helping me? 
to move to a new apartment? Yes, very good. And I sent it through the chat. So that is good, okay. right? Okay. Follow the, the structure. Great. Okay. Thanks. Very good. Um, would, you, would, you, would you take care of my pet, please? Or would uh -huh. you mind taking care of my pet, please? The next one. I sent Should another email. You, you can work with this one if you would like. Okay. Yes. I receive. Yeah, great. Care of my pet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next. 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 Is the teacher <laughs> afraid to speak to talk? <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Eduardo, you're next. Don't be afraid. Yeah, Come on. go ahead, Eduardo. <laughs> I, uh, would you be mind to leave me for the other turn? <laughs> no, would you mind? After would you mind, the verb has to be in ing. 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 Yes, okay. we would, could, and, and can. You don't change it, but we would do mine. You have to use ing. Eduardo, what's your last name? Ayala. Ayala, okay. Make sure you write your name, all right? As a, as a username. Okay. I already Tomorrow, changed it. My name's going to be there. But okay, awesome. Another cell phone. Deal. <laughs> Tomorrow, I want to see Eduardo Ayala. Great. Okay, guys. Would you mind ING? Don't forget. All right. One okay. Would you mind? I mean, your proof, I think, sounds good, right? What do you think? Uh, yes, yeah, good. Yeah. It works. Okay. Hi, Josie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you written? <laughs> Uh, we have just one. Oh, just one? To finish. To, to ah, finish. Yes. One left. One left. Okay, that changes the whole thing. Let's go back. That's good enough. Okay. Okay. We can't hear you, Jocelyn. You are, you are in mute. <laughs> Okay, it happens to everyone, huh? <laughs> Did you practice? Yes. Yes, all good? Yes. Alrighty, awesome. And let's see, I wanna make sure you were conjugating it the right way, so I will take some examples from you, okay? Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Not right. Nope. Nope, no. Okay, here it is. So, uh, lend me some money. Somebody ask me for money, please. Go ahead. Would you mind lending me, lending me money? Hey, how much do you need, Carla? <laughs> about about uh, five bucks. Ah, just five dollars. All right. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Great. So, would you mind lending me? Okay. Remember, would you mind ing? Very good. Another favor, Fernando. Yes. Ask me for a favor. Um, would you mind let me use your card, your card, please? Is that correct, everyone? Letting, 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 yeah, letting. letting. All right, guys, let's write this, okay? Because we cannot make this mistake. So you say. Could you and the verb in the base form, okay? You say, would you and the verb in the base form, okay? And can you, the verb in the base form, except would you mind? In this case, would you mind? You need the verb to end with ing, all right? But so, all right. We use would you mind. It's only if you use would you mind, you're gonna use ing, only there. 
here you're gonna use the verb. For example, can you sing? Can you call me? Just the verb, no, no changes in the basement. Can you talk louder? Something, okay? Very good, let's continue. Another favor, let me, let me borrow your homework. Uh -huh. Jacqueline? Ask me for this favor. Jacqueline Torres. Can you let me? Can you let me borrow your homework? Your homework. Very good, Noé. One more, come on, come on. Could you let me stay at your place for a while, please? For a while. How could you let me? Yes, but I think everyone would agree that would you mind letting me is better, right? Would you mind letting me stay at your place for a while, please? Yes, because it's kind of a big favor that you're asking for. Okay, let's continue. So do you have any questions about this topic or should we move on? We can move on. Move on, everyone? Yes. Okay, yes. let's do the exercise then. And number one, Alexandra. Could you lend me $20? Mm -hmm. Okay, the answer is, <laughs> are you kidding? I don't have any cash. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. So everybody should be on the platform and be on section 1.9 right now. Let's do this exercise together. Yeah. Thank you, Alexandra. Number two, who hasn't participated? Uh, I have Galaxy 810. I can't remember your name. Hold on. Uh -huh. What's your name again? Ah, okay. Duran, right? Moran. Ah, Moran. Moran. Great. Yeah. Uh, try to put the name before class, guys, because then I, I don't let you participate if that's the case, because I don't know your names yet. At least yet. All right. Number two, Paul, go ahead. Can you give me a sandwich? I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. I'll do it right away. <laughs> Let's try that. I don't think that's the answer, but we're going to try, okay? Number three, Eduardo. Hello. Can you help me move to my new house? Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. The number, the last one. Very good. That's such a nice friend, huh? Put him up. Uh, will you mind no, not sitting here? Um, sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. I didn't realize it was taken. Number five, um, Noe. Remember you're on Would you move your car from my space? I am sorry, I'll do it Do it right away. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Yes, yeah, so that means that this one is not that answer, right? I'll do it right away. Because if you say, can you get me a sandwich? I'm sorry. No, right? There's nothing to be sorry about. So let's change this one. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. <laughs> mm -hmm, that could work. I don't have time for your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Carla. Do we have a car? Yeah, Carla Molina, go ahead. Uh, would you mind not taking so loudly? Uh, would you mind not talking so loudly? Mm -hmm. um, it can be... Uh, sure, no problem. I'm glad to. <laughs> No, let's try another one. Carla, Carla Chan, you want to help? 
Voy, voy. Ah. Uh, the sorry. first, we're, we're sorry. We talk more quietly. Yes, remember that you is also plural, guys. Could you not talk? Would you mind not talking so loudly? Let's check. And yay. All right, everything is good. Great job, class. So I think the topic is clear and let's make progress here. So this is where we are, guys, section 1.10. Okay, Roberto, read the objective, please. In this, in this class, you will de develop skill in guessing meaning from context and reading for specific formation. Okay, let me see what this is. And maybe I have neighbor versus neighbor. I'd love to. Okay, before we do this guys, and to complement this one, I'm going to send you a conversation, all right? And check WhatsApp right now, we're gonna do it. I'll give you the pronunciation. So I don't want us to change topics yet, but I would like us to still work on asking for favors, all right? So check the conversation. I'm gonna also open it here. This one, okay? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, repeat after me. Hello. Hello. Hi, Rod. Hello. This is Jana. Hi, Hi Rod. Hello. This is Jana. This is Jana. I'm going to my best friend's wedding this weekend. I'm going, I'm going to, my to, best best to my best friend's wedding this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? I would love to take some pictures picture for, for this website. website. Would, would you mind if you, you borrow your digital, digital camera? camera? Uh, no, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Mm, no, um, no, no, that's okay. okay. Yeah, I, I guess, guess. Yes, I, don't I don't think, think I, need I need it for, it for anything. anything. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Sure. Sure. Have uh, you used uh, a digital, digital camera, camera before? It's sort of complicated. Sort of complicated. Camera before. Uh huh. Sure. A couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. sure. A of time. A Would it be time. okay if I pick okay. it up on Friday night? Okay. 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 If I pick it up on Friday night. Yeah, this verb is in the past, guys. It's picked it up. Look. Okay, look. This is pick it up. Say it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. But this is pick it up. picked pick like this. Picked. 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 So it sounds like picked this. It up. Picked it up. Picked it up. Like this. Picked it up. Picked it up. Yes. Would you mind if picked I picked it, it up? up? All right. I would like you to practice that dialogue, okay? If you finish quickly, you can change the favor. You can say, would you mind taking care of my pet? And you say, I'm sorry, but I have to work, okay? So please, okay. Okay. first practice it the way it is. If you have time, modify it for a different favor, the ones we just practiced, okay? Let's work okay, in okay. pairs. And I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna have you work with different people. So accept the invitation, please. I think um, um, I am alone right now. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay. 
Did you get the invitation, the new one? Sorry? I sent you a new invitation. Yes, I see, I see Paul Moran, I think, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll send it again, accept it. Okay, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm. I didn't see the invitation. Mm, you're probably not getting it. Mm. Hold it, I'll send it again. Now? Mm. No. Uh, what if you try to log out and in? Would it be too complicated? Okay. Let's try that, I'll wait for you. <laughs> okay. No, for me it's the, it's the first time. So, uh, Hi guys. Somebody's recording us. Hi. Hi. Yeah, mm -hmm. all classes are recorded. Okay. okay. Have that. you have you finished practicing? Yeah, about the same conversation. Uh huh. Try to modify the favors. Okay. Like, would you let me stay in your house? Okay. Hi. Hi, we finished the conversation. Great, have you modified it? No. Okay, try changing some stuff like, would you mind uh, taking care of my pet? Would you mind helping me move? Change the dialogue a little bit. All right, okay. let's modify it. Okay. Have a pet, but I borrowed you uh, your new car. Mm, no, no, that's okay. I guess I don't think I need. You borrow me your bicycle. Oh, okay. Oh, in that no case, problem. could you lend me? Could you could lend? lend? Yeah, because borrow is tomar prestado. <laughs> Lend is dar prestado. Borrow is and you take it. Okay. Bor okay. Uh, okay. 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 Which example we can use? Okay, were you able to modify the dialogue? I noticed Roberto, I think, Jacqueline, Carla, you modified it, right? Okay, yes. volunteers to show us your new dialogue. Who wants to participate? Jacqueline, you wanna show us yours? You wanna present it? Who are you working with? Can you repeat me, please? Who are you working with? Uh, we using a let me drive your car. Hey, but who, who are you with? Fernando. Fernando, Fernando, Hernandez. All right, go ahead. Lights, camera, action, go ahead. Jacqueline, who starts? Fernando or you? Yes. Um, you, Jacqueline. Uh, hello. 
Okay, hi, Rob. This, this is Jana. <laughs> oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend wedding this weekend. Um, I need to... I need to I, I need to go to to the city uh, would you mind if you let me use in letting use your car okay so mm -hmm. as not to make it complicated for another say would you mind letting me use your car would you mind letting me use your car mm -hmm. no that's okay I guess I don't I don't think I need it for anything all the week. <laughs> Thanks a million. Sure. Uh, do you have used a, or drive a standard car before? It's sort of complicated. Yes, every time. Would, <laughs> would it be okay if we get up on Friday night? Yes, I guess so. Would it be okay if I picked it up? Pick, pick that up. Yes, the thing is that that structure is more complicated, so you can say, can I pick it up, or could I pick it up on Friday? Could I pick it up Friday? Yes, those favors you're asking, it would be better for you to ask them with the structures we learned, not with the structures in the dialogue, right, because they're kind of complicated. But it was good. Thank you, guys. Applauses for them. Great job. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Like this. All right, awesome. Uh, do you have any questions about this topic? No, no, no it's all clear. Clear? Like water? Crystal yeah. clear? All right, I hope so. <laughs> so, thank you very much for having me. Hey, guys, sorry, last night I lost the picture. We took a picture last night, right? Yes, me veo peor que ayer, pero bueno. <laughs> let's take a cada día peor. All right, let's take a picture of it. porque ayer la perdí. All right, but I will do it. So, be ready. Fernando, can we see you? You have your camera? All right, one. Mm, no, tomorrow I am going to put my camera on. All right, well. We're going to take a picture with your name then. All right, live? No. Okay. Ready, set. Cheese. Ay, qué mal me veo. Bueno, ahí se la mando. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope to see you tomorrow and that you have a beautiful night. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.